As you get some experience completing projects, one of the most difficult but beneficial things to realize is that you can't fix everything. So sometimes we do have a problem, we need to repair it. Sometimes we need to acknowledge that we could have done better and do better on the next one. Now, a lot of you are going to love this video because I'm going to ask you in this video to critique my work. Now, I'm asking this for two reasons. Is we're going to do a video that really talks through the things that you share. And some of them are going to turn out to be videos. In fact, two of them already have. We, um, well, we'll get to those as we go around. Let's start going around this and just talking out some items on it. So one of the goals with the Smart Manufacturing Cell Trader was to make it as much like what you may run out to the field to sprinkle some items in like that. But at the same time, there were some modifications we had to make for it being a trainer. So first of all, we're not going to talk about safety ratings. We don't do safety in here. I can tell you already that the distance is wrong on this, but we wanted some examples of, hey, here's how a light curtain works. Here's how a light curtain wires. Here's how you program one. And similarly, we have a gate switch on this side. It is a locking gate switch, so we can open, we can close, it can lock. We have a 5032 IO link module, and we have a Yamaha robot. It already, since y'all read me so hard on melting my motor down and all that fun stuff, uh, we uh, we got with Curtis and Rebecca over at Millspec Manufacturing, and they built this way improved mount, which includes cooling to save our fan motor. Another one that kind of came out early on was, uh, yeah, we had a serious cable management issue. So now we have some Aegis Energy Chain and we have videos on both of those. The question I have for you is what are items that you see out in the field that you don't feel are completely represented on this machine? Now, I didn't see itemized to manufacture or to specifics. We have a few safety devices so we can understand how safety integrates. We have lots of third-party devices, which is kind of what the root of this trainer was. Speaking of which, let's look inside of this control panel. Now, right away, this control panel is slightly different because I needed it where eight people could walk around it. So it does lay on its side. It slides out. And we're just going to go a little bit through it. So we are teaching even to basic transformers, 24 volt. And here is some electronic circuit protection, both on 24 volt and a really cool Siemens circuit breaker that's doing a lot of power monitoring and power factors. We have Yamaha's RCX340, which arguably is the easiest to integrate with Allen Bradley PLCs. And, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to get fully advanced. So even though this looks really odd, a lot of y'all criticize this. We still run into a lot of DC motors. So this is actually running our spindle motor. We have a Banner SC10 safety controller. Still got a few old school contactors breaking our power up to our DC drive. Really cool Ethernet features in the Siemens. Uh, Ethernet switch, and we have Siemens ET200 SPIO. This is connecting to our Control Logics PLC. So, down in the comments, put what you think I could have done better, or not even necessarily better, but what you would do differently. Once we can share ideas, also, some of these will end up being videos. Some of them already have been videos. I mean, Curtis and Rebecca over Millspec, they definitely improved it. Aegis, they definitely improved it. But also, I want us to be able to look at some and be like, you know, next time I do this, I could do better. And so there will be a follow-up video. And yes, I, I will give many of y'all mad props for ideas you have, things you see. And we'll talk about what should we go ahead and fix and what do we need to just be able to swallow our pride and say, you know, I didn't quite hit the mark on this one. We'll do better next time. I'll see you down in the comments.